from Keto Lifestyle. I'm here to share with you today one of my favorite desserts. Um, it's triple chocolate cake. Now if you're anything like me, you're constantly craving chocolate and this cake will help crush your cravings. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then we are going to melt seven tablespoons of butter with one ounce of Baker's chocolate. So when you're melting your butter and your chocolate, I highly suggest doing 15 second increments of in the microwave and then mix it. That way you don't burn your chocolate and you don't splatter the inside of your microwave with butter. Next, what we're gonna do is we are going to start to mix our dry ingredients. I'm gonna start by mixing half a cup of almond flour and a quarter cup of cocoa powder powder. So now in another bowl we are going to mix two eggs with some of this confectioner's uh, erythritol. If you only have the granulated stuff, that's perfectly okay. Just throw it in a food processor or a spice grinder for a couple seconds and that'll fix your problem just like that. Um, we did not get any stiff white peaks, but these are full eggs, not egg whites, so you can't really expect that. I also added in 10 drops of liquid stevia to kind of bump up that sweetness a little bit, as well as two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I love vanilla. I'm not sure about you guys, but it's delicious. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to fold in our dry mixture into our egg mixture and go ahead and get this cake batter going. chocolate to this chocolate cake, Lily's chocolate chips. If you have not found these yet, pick them up. They have been a lifesaver for me. I'm gonna go ahead and add about a quarter cup into my mixture. The last thing we're gonna do before we put this cake in our pan is we are going to butter it so it doesn't stick. Um, you can use an eight inch springform pan for this. I don't own those, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this eight by eight casserole. in the oven for 20 minutes. Twenty minutes later. All right, so we just went ahead and pulled our cake out. I'm gonna let it cool for about 20 minutes, which is a great time for you to go ahead and make some fresh whipped cream to go on top of this. Normally I would say wait 20 minutes, let this thing cool all the way, but I couldn't wait anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste test. Holy cow. This is phenomenal. If you are a chocolate lover, I highly suggest eating this. Um, there's melted chocolate in here, there's dark chocolate, milk chocolate, it is amazing. If you would like to try this recipe on your own, go ahead and check out that recipe. It's down in the description. If you like this video, give us a like. If you would like to subscribe, please do so. It helps me out. It helps Tom out. And we get to share more recipes like this. 
But without anything else, have a great night.